Hello friends, in the last video I have introduced you about the descriptive research design. Uh, I was telling you that uh, that was you no know, descriptive research design is one of the easiest designs. So today I have uh, I am going to introduce you one more important method. It is not a single method. It's a combination of multi method. It is called mixed method research design. Mixed method research design means you can obviously mix different methods in single research. It is not necessary you have to use only one type of research you can use uh, two three uh, approaches also. For instance if you take most of the approaches it will be either quantitative or qualitative. So here you can combine both quantitative and qualitative. Say, uh, let me give you, give you an example. If you study about the communication skills of us English students, or you can take it as vocabulary level of, in, uh, probably you take it as engineering students. So in that case, when you study the vocabulary of the students, you can do two things. One is preparing the questionnaire and uh, giving to the students, collecting the data, identifying exactly how many words they know and all this stuff. Later, after collecting this quantitative data, you can conduct in-depth interview and focus interview with the participants, where the data you derive from the participants can be a qualitative input that comes under qualitative research design. Whereas the number after giving the questionnaire, whatever the response you get and you do the statistical analysis, you prove or disprove hypothesis, all these things come, comes under, uh, come under the quantitative research approach. So in one research, you can combine both quantitative as well as qualitative method of research that is called mixed method research design. So when you design this particular method, you have to be very clear what type of research tools you are going to use in the quantitative approach what you are going to use in the qualitative approach as i already told you in quantitative how we are going to analyze the data sps are you use hypothesis testing or simple descriptive or something what what else and if it is quality qualitative how you are going to observe because basically it's observation the qualitative research how you are going to observe it in person observation or giving the you know in-depth interview are focused or uh, what you call ethnography and other whatever the methodology you use you have to use it both so the qualitative will have a separate uh, uh, the tools and quantitative will have a separate tools so you have to have a clear plan in this qualitative approach what are the things you are going to use and quantitative then you have to juxtapose clearly finally you should uh, really prove that why you required both approaches in your research that is very much essential for the sake of using you cannot you should not use both uh, quantitative and qualitative approach that should be a need after that you have to design so this is really very uh, well uh, accepted one and it gives more validity for the research because you have both method obviously one method's limitation can be addressed in the another method so it will be very good so you can try this and this is a beautiful one but when you prepare a research decision you have to be a bit cautious about what are the tools you are going to involve it C clear so i hope this is useful to you and if you find it useful just to hit a like button and share it to a friend let them get benefited i'll catch you in the next video do not forget to subscribe my channel bye